Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And in today's episode, I got a pretty interesting one. I'm going to be curious to see what you guys say about it. The topic is, do Raptors fans secretly hate the Clippers because Kawhi Leonard left them? So that's the topic I want to get into today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Also, we have our Dreamers Pro Max a platform which is an online uh, sports community it's a place where you go and start basketball discussions chat live during games go live after games so we can answer questions and just really you know go over games and, and just kind of share our thoughts consume original content that you get nowhere else and so many other things so if you guys are interested in that be sure to check it out we have it in the link in the description below and get seven days of free access so be sure to check that out when you have uh, when you have a free moment anyway uh let me get into this topic here so this topic is going to ruffle some feathers, but it's something that I'm kind of noticing. So I, th I said, okay, maybe this is a conversation that we all need to have, uh, need to have because we've been producing some, some videos around the idea of Kyle Lowry possibly going to the, uh, play with the, with the Los Angeles Clippers. And it seems to be something that a lot of Toronto, Toronto Raptors fans detest. So it's really kind of the conversation around this whole idea that's kind of making us decide to make this video here. So Everyone knows that the Toronto Raptors have always been a good team in the Eastern Conference. We know this for at least the last 10 years or so. They've always been one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference because they have a fantastic organization. They have one of the best GMs, excuse me, presidents of basketball operations in Masai Ujiri. Um, they've always hired great coaches like Dwayne Casey and Nick Nurse. So they've always been one of these teams in the Eastern Conference that has always done well. If you go back looking at when they had uh, Chris Bosh and then, um, you know, the DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry era, but they could never seem to get over the hump. And that's why a lot of people were calling them the baby Raptors, the baby Raptor. That was one of the monikers uh, that they had because they could never seem to break through. And they just they would just have, you know, disappointing playoff exit after playoff exit. Um, I think the worst one was three years ago when at the time they had the, the head coach um uh, du, uh what is his name Dwayne Casey I think who won the, the coach of the year at that time Toronto Raptors I think had the number one record in the Eastern Conference then they went up against the Cleveland Cavaliers with LeBron James and then they ended up getting swept and it was one of the most disappointing um ways to go out in the playoffs and it got to the point where that team was somehow feeling psychologically that lebron was the one that was kind of standing in their way and they couldn't get over lebron they started to actually believe that um and he had some buzzer beat it was it was just crazy so masai ujiri um decided to, to decided to do make two decisions that would decisions that would ultimately change the luck and the trajectory of that uh, of that franchise pretty much forever Right. He decided to do two things. One of the things he did was he decided to fire uh, the former coach uh, of the year in Dwayne Casey and replace him with an assistant coach in Nick Nurse, who had already had coaching experience across um, in, in Europe. And that was one of those things that had a lot of people around the NBA scratching their head. Like, how how do you fire the coach of the year? And I think it left a bad taste in some of the the the, the rap, the, the Toronto Raptors at that time um, that were on the rosters. They were like, what? You fired the head coach like the guy just won the coach of the year. So he decided to do that thing. But then he didn't stop there. Masai Ujiri being the 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 the, um, the risk taker that he is, because you got to take risks. You, you swing big, you miss big. But if you, if you swing big and you hit, you can really win big. And Masai Ujiri just knew that he had to do something else. So he de decided to do probably one of the most controversial things at the time by trading away their best player. In DeMar DeRozan, who was also best friends with their other, uh, with their second best player at the time in uh, Kyle Lowry. After, I think, uh, telling him that he was totally okay, nothing was going to happen, traded him away. For a guy in Kawhi Leonard, they had left a bad situation, was coming off a bad situation with the San Antonio Spurs that had only played, I think, six or 10 games the year prior, or 15 games the year prior. Bring this guy in, a guy that was that hadn't played for pretty much a year that we were unsure about his health. Trade this guy for a guy that had been there all these years. But I think Masai Ujiri understood something that a lot of Toronto Raptors, the rap, to rap, Toronto Raptors fans understood at the back of their mind that just Demar Rosen, De Demar Derozan wasn't the guy to get get him over the hump. He just wasn't. He wasn't good enough to get them to the promised land we had seen so many iterations of that team where they could never break through so he went out there and it got Kawhi, but it was a gamble because at the time 
people were speculating that Kawhi Leonard ultimately wanted to end it up uh, in, in um, back in California where he's from. So that was kind of the thing that was kind of percolating in the background. So Masai, Masai Ujiri was fully aware of that, but he was willing to take a risk and, and swing for the fence. And he went for Kawhi Leonard. Right. And um, um, when he went for Kawhi Leonard, that team had a very good season. They ended up finishing with the finishing with the number two seed in the in the Eastern Conference. So I finished. No, no. They finished with the second. They sent they finished with the second overall uh, record in the NBA behind the Milwaukee Bucks. And then the Golden State Warriors finished with the third overall record uh, in the NBA. So that year when they got Kawhi, remember, guys, Kawhi. Leonard only played 60 games for the Toronto Raptors that season. That's when he was really load managing coming off coming off of that injury. And that year, he averaged 26.6 points per game. He shot 49.6% from the field, 50% from the field, 37% from the three-point line, 85% from the free throw line, got you 7.3 rebounds, 3.3 assists, and 1.8 steals. But let's face it. They didn't bring Kawhi Leonard to get them the number one or number two seed in the Eastern Conference. They brought him there to get them over the hump. That was the that was the gamble that Masai Ujiri was willing uh, to make. And when Kawhi Leonard came, they ultimately went on one of the most drama packed, you know, historic runs that you that you will ever see a, a, an NBA team go through in the playoffs. They ended up going against the Philadelphia. After first of all, they lost the first game to the Dallas Mavericks in, in round one. Then won the next game, so they won that series in four and five. Then they went to go play the Philadelphia 76ers. That series went to seven games, and Kawhi Leonard hit his most famous shot in his career. That buzzer beater we all remember it over Joel Embiid to win that series. Then they go to the the the, the Eastern Conference Finals against the Milwaukee Bucks. Dropped the first game, then everybody said they don't think the Raptors can come back. Dropped the second game, and everybody counted the Toronto Raptors out. We all remember. Then in game three, in Toronto, that game went to overtime. The 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 Toronto Raptors were able to able to overcome the Milwaukee Bucks, then proceeded to beat them. The next four games, Kawhi Leonard and these guys did a, he did an amazing job, the best job anybody in the NBA could do with Giannis Antetokounmpo, then led that team to their first NBA title for, uh, uh, championship um, um, appearance, and ultimately, they broke through and won their first uh, won their first title for the Toronto Raptors, and Kawhi Leonard in that playoffs averaged over 30 points. Let me bring up his playoff numbers here. For the playoffs that year, he averaged 30.5 points per game, shot 49% from the field, 38% from the three, 88% from the free throw line, got you 9.1 rebounds, 3.9 assists, 1.7 steals, and led the playoffs in points, rebounds, and steals. Had one of the most historic runs ever, had the third scores, uh, high scoring um, 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 uh, playoff um, campaign behind Michael Jordan and LeBron James. And at that point, Kawhi was king of Canada. Forget about sorry, the king of Canada. The The country fell in love with him. You saw Drake at the concerts. I mean, at, 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 at the front row at the games. It was just incredible. And then we all remember doing the the the, the, the championship um, uh, parade. We did the laugh, the ha, aha, aha. You remember that? I mean, it was just, it was a magical kind of um way to cap off an incredible year but i think at the back of the mind of all the toronto raptors fans there was an ease they were, they were uneasy because they knew of his pending there was a pending free agency de decision that was looming over the organization and pretty much the country and Kawhi leonard ultimately ended up signing with the la clippers and i think at that point I think it left a bittersweet kind of taste in the mouths of Toronto Raptors fans because on the one hand, I think they were extremely appreciative of Kawhi because he was the guy that helped them get their first championship ever, right? How can you not be appreciative of the guy? But at the same time, a lot of them were just like, man, why would you leave a championship team? Let's run it back another year. Now, to be fair to Kawhi, it, was, it came down between, it was between the Toronto Raptors and the Los Angeles Clippers, but Masai Ujiri was not willing to part ways with Pascal Siakam because Kawhi Leonard wanted him to swap Pascal Siakam for Paul George. He wanted Paul George and Masai wasn't willing to make that decision, make that call and pull the trigger on that particular trade. And ultimately Kawhi decided to walk. 
he decided to go to the Clippers. And in that first year, I'm sure Toronto Raptors fans were happy for Kawhi because they wanted him to do well. But you could tell, like, they would have preferred that he did well with them. And ultimately, what happened? Kawhi went to the Los Angeles Clippers. They had all this hype around him. Went to the NBA playoffs. Then he dropped the ball and ultimately did not win the NBA title. Right? We all remember them blowing that 3-1 lead in the playoffs. And at the time... Who, me, I'm a huge Kawhi Leonard fan, huge Kawhi Leonard fan. We did a video asking a question then when they lost, I think it was last September. Should Kawhi Leonard have stayed in Toronto? And that video got like 60,000 views. And it was just like, whoa, like Toronto Raptors fans came out and saying, yes, you should have. Why would you leave a championship team? One of the worst decisions you ever made. And I understood that. I understood that. But I've also noticed that. Going back to my original point of me men me kind of mentioning these two teams as far as them sending Kyle Lowry to the Clippers, a lot of Toronto Raptors fans detest that idea. They were like, why the hell would we help you? Why would we help you go and win there? Instead, Kawhi should be thinking of trying to find a way to come back to Toronto. I think Toronto Raptors fans would much better enjoy the idea of Kawhi Leonard coming back to the Toronto Raptors and trying to recapture the same magic that he did two years ago than them helping the Clippers win another title. They're like, why would we do that? And if you go through the comments, it's usually the comments that the, people, uh, the Toronto Raptor fans are leaving. And I I could, I could, totally understand it. Like, I, I wholeheartedly understand it because we have some Toronto Raptors fans um, 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 uh, on our channel. And I think that they really like Kawhi but they still don't like the idea that he left them. And for them, it's like, listen, we'll cheer for you because we appreciate what you did. But don't now try to come back and try to get some of our pieces that won that title. You already got Serge Ibaka, for God's sakes. What else do you want? Because remember, Serge was on the Toronto Raptors. He was one of those pieces. He was, he was, he was the center coming off the bench that helped them win this, that title. And Serge hit a lot of big shots in the playoffs for them. We all remember this. So they're like, you already got Serge. Now you want Kyle Lowry? You got to be crazy. That's what they're saying. And I think, this is just me. I could be wrong, but this is what I believe. I believe that Toronto Raptors fans hate the idea of helping the Clippers get anything because they're like you already got enough you got Kawhi, you got surge what else do you want do you want our do you want our, do you want our, our, an arm and a leg too so that's what i secretly believe so that's what i uh, truly believe so what i want to know from you guys is this do you think toronto raptors fans secretly hate the, the idea of helping the clippers do well in the playoffs given the fact that Kawhi Leonard should have stayed with them all along. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. I'm curious to hear what you guys say about this. Um, again, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and uh, and um, check out the video that we have coming up um, on the channel. And also, if you enjoy this type of content and so much more, be sure to check out our Dreamers Pro Premium um, um, community, Dreamers Pro Max, which we have linked in the description below and get seven days of free access because you're going to get this and much, much more. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day. Catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.